Hi everyone and welcome to the Hematic Food Channel. Today we are going to continue to observe blood physiological phenomenon through a microscope. In a previous video we already saw how blood condition changes when we consume sugar. There is a noise around stevia that it can be healthy sugar replacement. Let's put it to the test and find out how my blood reacts when I eat stevia. As always, for a quality of experiment I haven't had any food or drinks. You are looking at my morning blood zoomed 200 times. Right now the blood is reasonably thin and at the first glance we can observe some standalone erythrocytes as well as small chains of erythrocytes joining together. It is also noticeable that they have enough space in between. Now 800 times. The 800 times zoom gives us a better overview. The chains of glute erythrocytes are not that big and we can also observe some cholesterol. Now 2000 times. Let's see the real size of the chains. At first glance they are not that long and they are not gluing to each other. Let's move it a bit. The flow looks good today. Erythrocytes are elastic and moves well. It is also noticeable that when erythrocytes hitting each other the chains breaks into individual erythrocytes. Here is the sugar level before taking stevia. So I took 15 grams of organic stevia and dissolved it in 300 milliliters water. About 40 minutes later I took the blood sample and put it under the microscope. What you see now is blood zoomed 200 times. Evidently the blood condition is slightly changed. It is noticeable that chains of glute erythrocytes started to form Iceland's. Let's have a closer look zooming to 800. Indeed the length of the chain becomes slightly longer. I can also observe that they started to glue to each other forming the islands. What got my attention is there is still some space between them. And now 2000 times. We can now see how islands are formed. Should we try to move it? Surprisingly the flow is not impacted. Blood moves as freely as before taking stevia perhaps slightly better. Here is the sugar level. It is slightly increased. But it should be obvious, I guess. I'll let you to draw the conclusion. I'm just showing you how stevia affects my blood conditions. If you are taking stevia instead of sugar, give a thumbs up. If you're interested in how food affects our blood, Please subscribe as there are many more interesting experiments ahead. If you believe that this information can help someone to make right decisions, please share it. Just before we wrap it up for today, here is stevia versus sugar.